Let's go to the Fort Rugraff. Fort Rugraff? We talk about retail and sunrise. Can anyone read this for me? Ada yang mau membacakan? Yep, thank you Mbak Zilla for keep listening. So, is anyone to read this? Mbak Ika, would you mind to read the fourth, the fourth slide that titled Vital and Summarize? Yeah. Yeah. Slides, no, 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 the fourth. Fourth. The fourth. Read there and. Is it by ethic again? Who wants to help you to read it? Is yeah. anyone want to help you? It's okay if no one responds. Yeah, thank you for responding me. It gives me a lot. Coming is. Sorry, I I just take a bath. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I just finished the bath. Okay. Retail and summarize. One of identify the point uh, is identify interesting ideas, recall story or text details, recall important ideas or word or words, retell and retell the details in order using transitions, summarize while reading, read, pause, retell, read on and read on. And summarize the five W, W, S, who, what, where, when, why. And identify fact, fact versus opinion in the text. Explain, explain causes, effect, relation, relationship with the text. Summarize the detail following the same text. And restart, restart outdoor climbs and the supporting Event, event, event this. F, evidence, evidence, evidence. evidence. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. So, please, anyone, would you mind to read slide number four? We are in the slide number four now. So, please, anyone, can you translate this into Indonesia? So, please, <laughs> one of you will not miss the meaning. Anyone? Eh, ini modul apa PPT ya? PPT mbak, ada ono modulnya belum belum ngebuka modul. Yeah. PPT kan PPT-nya udah di sini. I yeah. upload it on Facebook. The ninth PPT. The color is pink. Pink, pink, pink. Oh, okay. Do you get it? Yeah. Okay, please open PPT page 4, please. And well, detail and summarizing is in size. Yeah, is detail it? and summarizing, that's good. Uh, would you mind to translate it? The point 1 under 4. Mm -hmm. Guess the meaning of identify interesting ideas. Hmm. Ini kalau yang lain mau ngomong langsung aja ya, nggak usah saya panggil satu-satu. Jadi langsung aja. Identify. Hidup. 
it interesting ideas is mengidentifikasi uh, ide ide yang hmm, ide yang menarik maksudnya ide di mana ya, di mana ide ya ide yang... di mana yang menarik dari sebuah bacaan yang sedang kita baca tersebut oke okay, that's good so the next one is the next step is recall story of text details what does it mean Recall. Recall story of the text detail. Recall. Call means memanggil. Memanggil itu language. dengan membaca seorang so, membaca. In this case, English, when we when we learn a new vocabulary, it will have another meaning depends on the context. In this case, recall means mengingat. So recall story hmm. or text details means. Mengingat kembali. Mengingat bacaan, ha, ya, yang ingat kembali. Dan detail-detailnya. Jadi mengingat kembali detail-detail cerita. So jadi how to read and summarize? The first one is we identify the interesting idea. That's why when we read, we need to think. And the second one is the next step is recall story or text detail. And the third one. Recall important ideas of or words. What does it mean? Recall important ideas or words. Mengingat uh, ide penting atau kalimat eh kata kata penting. Important ideas. Sorry, but sorry. I had a number six. That's number six. I eh? yeah. Maaf ya mbak ya, ada iklan sebentar Makhluk, tinggal di dorm Kita lanjutkan kembali ya So Tadi sampai mana ya Oke, okay, recall important ideas or words So, the meaning of recall important ideas or words means Uh, mengingat uh -huh. important penting ide, ide penting atau atau kata kata penting ya yeah. so when we want to recall a passage we need to highlight it important words we do not need to remember everything we just highlighted some important words That's very important. And the next one is retell the details in order using transition. It's almost similar with the, the previous step. Retell the details means menceritakan kembali detail-detailnya menggunakan kalimat-kalimat transisi. If you go to our class, I already talk about transition words. Uh, Beberapa di pertemuan-pertemuan sebelumnya saya sudah mendiskusikan tentang transition word. Please mind. If you want to recall that material, you can open your PPT. So you will remember that. And the next step is summarize while reading. Summarize while reading. So when we read, we are thinking what we read. And we also make summary in one time. So read, pause, retell, read on. This is very important. Membaca, berhenti sejenak, mencoba menceritakan ulang kembali, dan lanjutkan membaca. Okay. So today I will do this phase. I will do this phase. Read, pause, 
retail agreed on. That's why I need everybody's participation. And the next one is summarize 5W, who, what, where, when, why. I think all of you already know that. And the next one is identify fact versus opinion mm. in the text. Next one is explain cause, effect relationship within the text. Explain cause and effect relationship within the text. Artinya menjelaskan sebab akibat dan hubungannya itu dengan teks. Do you know what I mean? Any question so far? So far, do you find any trouble? Ada masalah dengan ini, jelasan ini? The next one is summarize the details following the same text. Jadi merangkum kembali detail details teksnya. And the last one is restate other claims and supporting evidence. Restate. It's almost similar with recall. Restate artinya state itu mengungkapkan. Restate berarti mengungkapkan ulang atau menceritakan ulang author's claim. Pendapat penulis dengan bukti-bukti so we support the evidence ok now please open slide 5 everyone do you have the slide already in front of you because yes I cannot, miss ok good because I cannot make sure each of you we are in the different location now I just I just to know how I know that you already have the PPT is by answering my question. So thank you for answering my question. Now maybe some some of them are still working. Yeah. Why work? Yeah, I know that you are work hard. You are work hard and study hard. Hard worker. So now we go to a story. The title is Chronic Traumatic Encephalopathy. And Sapalopathy. And we have, I think, if I'm not mistaken, we have five paragraphs. And now we will focus on the first paragraph. Does anyone want to read this? It will take longer time than it used to be. But I want you to do this. Read, pause, yeah. read down. Anyone want to read number paragraph one? Uh, okay, Miss. Okay, thank you. Yes, please. Mm. Concussion are brain injuries that occur when a person receives a blow to the head, face, or neck. Other most people who suffer a concussion experience initial part of this this scene how do how read this scenes now see and throw scenes the sim, symptom of them disappear after a few days the long term effect of confusion however are uh, less understood are far more severe reasons to be suggest that people who suffer multiple con are at a significant risk for developing chronic developing chronic traumatic and cephalo how do you read this mean which one and cephalopathy cephalopathy cte Mm. Or C D S the Palopathy S the Palopathy or C D E uh uh the gener degenerative brain disorder that causes a variety of dangerous mental and emotional problems to arise weeks, months or even years after the initial injury. 
that psycho psychological problem can include depression, anxiety, memory loss, inability to concentrate, and okay, aggression. In extreme cases, People suffering from CDE have even committed suicide or homicide. And the majority of people who develop this issue are athletes who par participate in popular high impact sports, especially football, other sports, new sport regulation, and improvement in health technology can help protect players. The sports media and fans like bear, <coughs> like bear some of the responsibility for reducing the incidence of this devastating injuries. Enough? Okay, thank you. So now we will translate it first. So uh. to get a better understanding. Do you want to translate it, but I will help you. Just sentence by sentence. Concussion. Concussion is a name, so we do need to translate. It's a name of illness. Jadi, itu nama penyakit. Concussion. 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 Adalah brain injuries. Injuries, injuries itu uh, kecelakaan atau luka. Ke kecelakaan, kecelakaan otak, luka otak gitu. Mm -hmm. Yang atau occur, occur, occur itu similar meaning with happen. Apa? Oh, yang terjadi mm -hmm. ketika seseorang menerima mm -hmm. uh, a blow to the head, to the head. Uh, Tiupan, a blow, how do you say? Yeah. Yeah. Tiup, tiupan, tiup. tapi juga bisa guncangan. Guncangan, oh, guncangan pada kepala, uh, muka, dan leher, mm -hmm. begitu. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yes, correct. Uh, so, uh, so, most people who have a well, uh, well, uh, meskipun, meskipun, Uh, most seseorang uh, kebanyakan most, orang yang suffer suffer what is suffer suffer itu menderita uh, menderita concussion uh, peng concussion concussion experience Hmm. Berpengalaman, Izzy? Mengalami Orang mengalami. Oh, orang, orang yang mengalami Concussion ini nah. mengalami Miss, concussion itu gegar otak, kan? Iya, concussion itu gegar otak Temporary damage to the brain caused by fall or heat On the head or by violent shaking Ya, yeah. concussion itu bisa bergerak otak. Gerak otak. Excuse me, Mbak, bentar ya. Sawi. Oh, Maaf, aku nggak bisa diajak kompromi, Jess. Minta diolesin minyak kayu putih. Sorry, so many advertisements today. Another student's account, and I don't know. He just bringing a big box, and he said that 
to send the box to another student but I don't know who it belongs to. I think it comes from the wrong rooms. Sorry for the disruption. Okay, let's go. Let's go to continue this class. Although most people who suffer a concussion experience initial bout of dizziness, nausea, drowsiness, these symptoms often disappear. Artinya apa tadi? Seseorang yang menderita concussion. Gagal otak tadi. Iya. Inisial. 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 Mempunyai ciri-ciri. Ciri-ciri. Inisial itu awal. 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 Sejala bot. Gejala awal pusing. Isi. Pusing. Nausea. Nausea means when you feel as if you are going to vomit. Vomit itu mual. Mual. Ya. Nausea mual and mual. Dan drowsiness mengantuk, iya, mengantuk, iya. The symptoms often disappear. Kejala-kejala ini seringnya menghilang. After setelah beberapa hari. Okay, that's good. Next one, the next sentence. Anyone wants to translate it? The long term effect, effect jangka panjang dari gegar otak. Bagaimanapun, kurang kurang dipahami dan far more severe dan jauh lebih severe itu worse. Parah dan makin buruk ya dan dan makin lebih buruk. Okay, I like the discussion. Everyone who are talking, that's good. It keeps me awake. Next. Desain tu apa, Miss? Desain study seriusan terbaru. Terbaru. Jadi. Studi terbaru, studi terbaru mengira jika seorang yang menderita, menderita gegar otak ya, menderita gegar otak adalah otak ganda, multiple. Oh iya, gegar otak ganda adalah mempunyai, memiliki. Resiko resiko yang tinggi kan resiko tinggi untuk kemajuan kronik traumatik ya resiko tinggi untuk trauma kronis trauma yang dalam trauma yang lebih lanjut trauma yang trauma yang berkepanjangan gitu. Yeah, it's getting worse. It means that it's getting worse. That. Yes. Ini apa? Kel. Kelainan. Isi. Kelainan. Kelainan. Disorder. Kelainan berikut. Oh. Eh, otak. Otak. Yang menyebabkan. Yang menyebabkan beberapa bahaya bahaya yang bervariasi kan beberapa bahaya variasi bahaya dari dari mental dan emosi emosional emosi emosional masalah mal untuk turis yang sampai berapa beberapa minggu minggu bulan Bahkan ataupun bahkan bisa menahun dan jadi initial injury 
initial tuh awal. Cedera awal. Cedera awal. Cedera awal. After after the injury, people may have some mental mental or emotional problem, and it can be for weeks, for months, and can be years. So next one, the psychological problems can include depression. Masalah psikologis ini mm-hmm. bisa meliputi depresi, depresi, kecemasan, hilang, hilang ingatan, hilang ingatan, ketidakmampuan berkonsentrasi, dan apa agresi, agresif, agresif, berlebihan, agresif. Dalam, dalam berlebihan krim, dalam kasus serius, kasus serius, penderita orang penderita, penderita CTI, eh, kami tak selesai melakukan melakukan bunuh diri, diri atau membunuh diri atau pembunuhan, oh pembunuhan. Kebanyakan oleh kebanyakan orang kebanyakan orang hmm. yang menderita ini eh ya benar yang menderita ini adalah adalah atlet oh. yang berpartisipasi eh. dalam berpartisipasi dalam sport olahraga high impact Oh, olahraga yang resiko olahraga beresiko tinggi yang olahraga populer, populer. Ya, ya. terutama, terutama sepak bola. Sepak bola. Hmm. meskipun hmm. kedua peraturan olahraga meskipun baik new sport regulation and improvement in helmet technology can help protect players jadi meskipun baik Teknologi helm. Sport regulation berarti aturan olahraga ya baru dan kemajuan in helmet helmet helm dapat membantu melindungi pemain in media media olahraga yep. dan pe- penggemar, penggemar. sama menanggung menanggung beberapa tanggung jawab bertanggung jawab <laughs> harus bertanggung jawab for reducing the incidence of these devastating injuries untuk, untuk mengurangi kejadian cedera untuk mengurangi apa kejadian ya ini mm-hmm. Devastating means cause a lot of damage or destruction. Jadi it can be one meaning devastating injuries berarti kecelakaan kecelakaan ini tadi. Jadi media olahraga dan penggemar itu mereka juga ambil bagian, turut ambil bagian dalam tanggung jawab untuk mengurangi insiden dari kejadian kejadian kecelakaan ini. Do you get the whole point for this paragraph? So the title is chronic traumatic encephalopathy, and it talks about the brain injuries and also the symptoms that followed after the brain injuries. And the author, the author mentioned that most of the sufferer is athlete, athlete who train with high impact. Do you get the meaning? Do you get the point? So, proses reading tadi apa aja? Read. Eh, tapi bisa nggak ini juga the the author want to tell how is very dangerous this uh, con itu apa akibat dari penyakit ini nih karena dia bisa bunuh diri dan juga bisa membunuh. Ya, yeah, it can be. So, I will ask each of you to retell this first paragraph. So please use your own words. You can take a note now, and please 
restate this paragraph into two or three sentences. Okay? So I have one paragraph. Please read down this paragraph using your own words into two or three sentences. You can get the main point or you can get the important word in sharing your idea. Do you know what I mean? Now how many people now? Six participants. Yeah, and there are six participants so who can participate who can actively participate today? Uh, I give you two minutes to think. Two first. And please restate this paragraph using your own sentences. Okay. Anyone, if you are ready, you can go first. Okay, who wants to go first? Just two or three sentences, it's okay. I just need you to practice. I want you to practice first. That's why I ask you to read then translate. And after that I ask you to read down. Sorry. Sudah siap? Siapa yang mau cerita duluan? Just two or three sentences. But if you want more, it's okay. But I give you only one minute this year. Are you with me now? Please. Halo Mbak Why there is no response? Oke okay. Silahkan Restate this first paragraph Using your own sentence You can write first, then you read it. It's okay. Like my name Why? Why I don't hear any voice? Sorry, Miss. Suruh, suruh ngapain ya? Barusan ganti, barusan ganti pampers. Di mana ma? Ganti pampers. Eh, tadi yang sekolah, yang sekolah bapakku loh barusan. Please tell this. Please tell this yeah. paragraph 
using your own sentence phrase, just two and three sentences. It's okay. Because this is the phrase, the phrase of reading. Read, pause, and read down. That's why I give you one minute to read down. Mm. Using your own sentences. Which para second paragraph? The first paragraph. We is still in the first paragraph. Okay, let me try. Okay. And and come. after this, I will ask another student to read. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Go ahead. Conclusion: Our brain injury that occur when a person receive a blow to the head, face, or neck, and who is who is uh who, who and the people who suffer who suffer it um the suffer um, who suffering from uh c t e have even committed su suicide or homicide and um, the majority of people who develop this uh, con conscious conscious is uh, athletes are athletes who participate and who participate in popular high impact sport, especially football. And um, although new sport regulation and improvement in helmet technology can help the players the sport media and face like bear some of the responsibility for reducing and incitement of this the passion the past standing injuries jadi uh, gugar otak ini gugar otak adalah sebuah kecelakaan uh, sebuah penyakit yang uh, di mana orang menerima um, telah menerima uh, receive a blow to the head, face and neck. Lalu seseorang yang telah me mengidap penyakit ini, maksudnya mengalami gegar otak ini, bisa bunuh diri ataupun membunuh orang yang sudah yang yang sudah injured ini. Lalu kebanyakan si penderita adalah atlet at, atlet dengan high like impact sport terutama sepak bola. Oke, okay, thank you. That's very really nice. So how about the other students? I need your response. Bagaimana dengan yang lain sudah membuat? Have you finished with your own sentences? What I need? If you back to the sorry, if you back to the fourth paragraph, you can see that the how to read and summarize first identify the interesting ideas. Then recall the story or text details. Then recall important ideas or word. So you can use, you can pick up some important words and you can retell it with your own sentences. That's the point. Silakan, Mbak. Terima kasih, Mbak. I think. Oh, welcome. I'm waiting for another response. Yeah, Miss. I will try. Confusion is a brain injury that occur when a person receives a blow on the head, face, and neck. Uh, a, a concussion, psychological problem can include depression, anxiety, memory loss, inability to concentrate, and aggression. Okay, sorry. Uh, can you repeat yeah. once more? Uh, which condition is a brain injury that occurs 
when a person receives a blow to the head, face, or neck, uh, this uh, psychological problem can include depression, anxiety, memory loss, inability to concentrate, and aggression. Okay, that's very nice. Thank you. It becomes easier, right, to get the main ideas after we practice it together. I need one more. Please, anyone? Yes, I want to. Yeah, sure. Uh, Confusion are brain injuries that occur to head, face, or neck. It will get worsen, worsen in weeks, months, even years. The most extreme effect for the one who got this problem is commit suicide and homicide. Uh, the person with the most potential for this disease are the athletes who participate in popular high impact sport, especially football. Okay, thank you. Is that really wonderful that each of you, even you read the same request, you have your own ideas and you have your own sentences. That's really cool, right? This is the main point of reading. Because all of us, we process the information differently. That's why we have our own sentences. That's really nice, thank you. So next one, we go to the paragraph 2. But wait one second, I will record this. Wait a minute.